Hello, my name is Jeffy Kang and I'm the director of this video. I'm here to bring you a not-so-serious mockumentary about how the first year college is. So here, I'll be showcasing my homemates of East Logan Hall E1 and giving you an inside scoop of how the first year of college went for us. And to document how we as freshmen grew individually and as a community. One of the main reasons why I'm making this video is to recap on the first year of college. Because you're not going to get this tied back and I can't emphasize that enough. Coming into college is a brand new experience that shouldn't be taken lightly. This is a reminder to be open-minded about new things. But most importantly, have fun. 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 Hi, my name is Brennan Marchand. Hi, I'm Barkman McFab. Hello, my name is Luis Alvarez. Antonio Loza. <laughs> Hi, my name is Tim Lee. Hello, my name is Lucy Rodriguez. Hi, my name is Joshua Canizares. Hi, my name is Fernando Ohm. Hi, my name is Nigel Rocha. Hey, I'm Nick Alves, I'm the PC anymore. Hello, my name is David Montes. Hi, my name is Annalisa Cruz. Hey, uh, my name is Tim Kim. Hello, my name is Carla Verdeen. Hi, my name is Karen Hall. Hi, I'm Trevor Andrews. Hi, I'm Trevor Gaganius. Hello, my name is Kevin Cow. Hi, my name is Amanda Pellian. Hello, my name is Sterling Hampson. Hey, my name is Daniel Carrillo, and this is the Jeff Diaries. What's up, my name is Jose Ruiz. What the fuck? Hello, my name is Sir Akhwani. Hello, my name is Wade Samatala the first. <laughs> you guys are killing my film, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice. Uh, can we have a cut? Hi, my name is Mary Park. Hello, everybody. I'm Antonio Lodge. <laughs> yeah. oh, well, hello, I am Jeffrey Ng. Not to be confused with the other Jeffrey, you know, Jeffrey Chang. Because, you know, we do look alike. Hello, my name is Alexandra Hernandez. Hello, my name is Yan Ching. Hi, I'm Daniel Alvarado. Hello, my name is Tatum Lockett. Hello, my name is Danielle Giltner. Hello, my name is Joshua Gela Sanchez. Hello, my name is Bihar Shaw. Hello, my name is Kyle Hunt. Welcome everybody, I'm Antonio Loza and I'm the resident advisor for E1 The Cats Meow. First question is, uh, what were your initial thoughts on the hall, the school, college, uh, about your residence, and your friends? Uh, first week of school, first quarter, and first experiences, thoughts? Uh, anything and everything. Uh, zero week was interesting because I was super sick that entire week, so I kind of just, we had, with the, all, all the activities I just did, like, kind of half-assed, you know, just doing it. Well, you know, first week of college was, you know, Naturally, a very exciting experience. I planned on having my social life, um, you know, put on cruise control, and that's how it pretty much was. I was like a hermit. Now I think I'm considered like, you know, the award in yearbook where like, you know, you're the ditch school the most kind of thing. <laughs> like I'm never in the hall, which I kind of regret. College is so different from anything you'll ever experience. So being on your own, doing schoolwork, managing time and friends and 
trying to get out there and meet people is uh, is you know hard enough, and you know being a freshman and trying to do it on your own is even tougher. So I thought college was going to be very hard, and it turns out that that was somewhat true. Procrastination takes over, and you just like you die, I guess. And overall, college has been pretty good. And if <laughs> I'm having a good time. <laughs> what is this guy doing? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, the first time I saw my haul, I loved you guys so much that every time I went to sleep, I had tears in my eyes. <laughs> Uh, me at first, I was nervous, but like meeting a lot of people, like everyone's really friendly here. It's a pretty good experience. Well, uh, when I first got in the hall, I saw the theme was cats, and um, I was a little creeped out by the cat theme. I didn't, I just thought it was kind of weird. And then I met the guy behind the cats. Again, thought he was weird. Didn't think I'd become BFFFFFFs with that guy, but we are. I mean, with a hall full of guys and only about 16 girls, I thought it was gonna be pretty rowdy. Well, you guys aren't that bad. My overview of college was actually kind of uh, unexpected. I came here with a scholarship to play soccer, so I was really overwhelmed playing sports and trying to balance out school. Uh, my first day in the dorms, I moved in early, and uh, the first day I saw Tony and um, he was wearing a cat sweater, I think, and I kind of was like, what, why is he wearing a cat sweater? But our whole hall is cat themed and I hate cats, so it's all right. Tony's a great person. I thought if I had to pick any RA, I mean, I'm really happy and blessed I have Tony because he made this hall really fun. And um, I guess my, my first impression came from reading the roommate announcement, which was kind of scary because I figured out I had two Asians. That was weird, I know. <laughs> Alright, I'll start over, start over. Alright, I want to ask the question again. No, I can say it. I would feel better if you asked if you asked it again. <sighs> okay. One, two, and three. Yeah, fucking actor here. You're not giving me shit. Oh, let's go it. When I first got here, uh, the first person's face who really had an influence on me, because like I saw thousands of faces the first day. Uh, Tony, I saw Tony's face and I'm like, oh shit, this guy's white as fuck. And then I come to find out he's Mexican. So, um, you know, that was cool. Everybody seems as if they're cool. I mean, like, from the get-go, like, I was judging people. Like, it is what it is. What it is. Um, some of them, some of my judgments have been wrong, which is cool. Based on my roommates, how I perceived them, uh, Sterling was a top black guy who played basketball. No, nah, I'm just kidding. I didn't, I, I didn't nearly think he played basketball. Uh, well, I think my, uh, my initial thoughts was, you know, I was scared. I wasn't gonna meet any friends, you know, that like whole freshman mentality going on that you're gonna be an outcast, loner type of thing. But, um, you know, I thought that I was gonna go home every weekend. I was homesick for maybe about a couple weeks, but then I, uh, I met some friends, you know, it wasn't in my hall either, you know, it was uh, my friends in my major. And, you know, after that, you know, it's not that I saw my family less, it's UCR became another home for me. Uh, I felt like I belonged somewhere. Wow. Coming into my second year, everything was just a brand new experience. I was really nervous. I was really excited to see what I was being, going to be able to give everybody all of the residents. As soon as I met all of you, I knew I hated everybody. All right, next question is, uh, what's the craziest or funniest thing you've done inside the hall or out? Um, anything at all. Something you might want to look back on that's funny. <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing. Okay, so there was a moment in fall quarter. I was uh, sleeping. It was probably about 2 in the morning. Um, uh, in my past, I've been a sleepwalker, and so I uh, decided to sleepwalk out of my room and out of the hall <laughs> and start knocking on my friend's door. Something happened recently where I was out swimming at the, uh, the pool, and usually when I go swimming there, I leave my clothes on the bench because, you know, who takes clothes? So, you know, I came back from swimming and I went to 
the locker room. My clothes were still there. I, you know, went to the locker room, took out my shampoo. Back outside, my clothes were gone. And what's funny was, like, I had a $60 watch right next to the clothes, but my sweatpants were gone, my underwear was gone, my t-shirt was gone. All that was there was my watch and my flip-flops. We once put a cookie in the microwave for 10 seconds and it burned and I started smoking. <laughs> but it didn't set off the fire alarm, <laughs> so it was not our fault. It smelled horrible, it was good. It smelled good. It smelled like burnt chocolate chips. And I woke up and I realized I was only in my underwear and I didn't have any pajamas whatsoever. <laughs> locked out, didn't know what to do, and finally ha had to call the RSO because I didn't have keys and I definitely was not sitting out in the hall until my roommate got back in underwear. And so I had to walk from the athletics pool, which is near the hub, all the way to Lothian, and a towel in my Speedo. And my Speedo at the time was, um, this was a rainbow colored briefs, right? So it was like tie-dye rainbow color. <laughs> and then she, my girlfriend had a jacket I said, like, whatever. It's a jean jacket with whatever, right? <laughs> so I was like, you know, Cleo, what if I just took off my towel right now and wore your jean jacket and just, like, strutted it, you know? I'd be super gay. Oh. oh my god. What? Do you have uh, any funny or crazy stories uh, to share? Every time I'm in the bathroom and you come in, you film some random ass shit people do in the bathroom. Uh, <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> hey. Oh my god. <laughs> Toad's naked right now, dude. This is so awkward. Okay, I'm sorry, Elliot. <laughs> oh, damn, what's up, bro? Oh, yeah. What's up, bro? What is this? What is this? Hello. Oh, hello, you three stooges. Um, when I came to Riverside to take my MAE test, a math math placement exam, and um, in the morning I ate like the most the worst breakfast you can think of, right? What is it? I, I ate um, a bowl of ramen and uh, I had an Arizona green green tea. Um, when they were passing on the exam, they asked if anybody needs to go use the restroom. I was like, Nah, I, I feel great right now. Me and Wade, we just came back from Ray's Pizza. It's like our second night here. We're like, dude, what the hell is there to do in Riverside? So I hit up my friend, uh, Nikhil, Patel, lives in AI. I was like, hey man, what's going on tonight? And he said, dude, there's this party in the apartments. Um, we get to the party. Having a good time, you know, we're all just having fun. By the way, the owner of this apartment is like 47 years old. Yeah, and he's just smoking hookah in his room. Like, Sketch, like sketch dude. Right. Two minutes, literally two minutes into the exam, my stomach just starts growling, like, like you know that stomach churning feeling that you get, it was just growling, and then like Johnson could hear it next to me because he's dead silent in the room, and I could feel like everyone's judgy eyes just on me. So, so what happened when you went to the bathroom? Just, I just ran into the restroom and just took a shit. It was the largest <laughs> shit of my life. Just everything just came out. So, uh, like, so I'd say about like at 1:30, uh, we get a call saying noise level's too loud. 15 minutes later, cops are running towards the door, like, trying to like, as if we're like, doing something really like, illegal, even though we're not. I bounced, I hopped off so, two fences, I like, yeah. got a wound, like, right here, I dipped as fast as I Wait. could. I'm start busting out of the door, like, they're running, I'm running. I'm running fast, going down, I like, shoot down the stairs, I was like, wait, start running. I get down to the parking lot. First night I used to have Riverside. I'm just like, my life is over. My parents <laughs> are gonna come tomorrow. They're gonna pick me up from school. Like, I'm done. I'm gonna get booked tonight. And then like, okay, like, I was outside the apartment for like 20 minutes waiting for Siraj and I called him. I'm <laughs> like, yo, times. where are you? He's like, dude, I'm in the apartment. Show him like, what could you possibly be doing right now? No, some but that's chick. like, that's he's like, like some I, chick. No. <laughs> yeah, he was, he was. One time, like after a long soccer day, um, we only had two showers working in our hall. We always would rotate and tell each other like, oh, I have dibs on showers next and everything. And Amanda Appellian, she decided to just hop in my shower so then I got really mad at her and then yeah. I went and talked to her and I was like, Amanda, you can't just steal people's showers. Like, that's not okay. I don't know, we started, we kept being friends, but. <laughs> I remember one time you were under the bed and I snapped this quick photo. Additionally, there was one time that Tim was dragging his girlfriend in, and you're like, 
sheets or a trash bag. I think the funniest thing I saw this year in the hall was I was walking by the lounge and I saw Tim, uh, Tim carrying his, this giant sheet with something in it. Some trash. <laughs> Turned out to be his girlfriend. Wait, wait, wait. You, you got me under the sheets? One time, my, uh, my girlfriend and I were coming back from, I don't know where I got from, <laughs> but uh, we were coming back and I texted my roommate and I tell him, like, we need the room. So, you know, me and my girlfriend, we go in and do our thing and come out. Um, I drop her off at home and then uh, I, go, I come back to the room and I ask my roommate, like, oh, hey, um, where, where were you? Like, uh, Jen and I were using the room. He's like, oh, yeah, I was in the lounge, you know. So I saw you guys come in and out of the room. That's pretty funny. That so, so, it was so funny. Though. Yeah. Like, oh, How long did it take? For what? Oh, okay. Like, <laughs> I think we were in the room for like an hour. Oh my. The next question that I have for you is, uh, with the first year of college coming to an end, are you guys happy with the decisions you've made? Do you have any regrets or missed opportunities? Would you have done something differently? Or on the contrary, are you actually happy that you did something? Just make sure to take this time to reflect back on the first year of college and how you're not going to get this time back and I can't stress that enough. What are your overall impressions about first year of college? Of course I have regrets, you know, I've, I've done things that, you know, uh, I probably shouldn't have done, but I think the first year you should take it as a learning experience, that everything that you do now, you know, whether bad or good, will just be, you know, a way to assure that next year will be even better. One thing I kind of regret though, is not seeing my professor's office hours. I think, you know, having that professor relationship is like one of the most important things in college because, you know, they have a lot of knowledge and they're pretty interesting people behind the lectures. So that's something I do regret. If I had to do anything differently this year, I would probably have spent more time uh, socializing with my hallmates and uh, different people on campus. Because at the end of the day, honestly, it's going to be those connections, those experiences that are going to help you later on in the future. I mean, even if it's one or two people that you met in your hall for sure college, that's a great experience to have and you might make lifelong friends with them or with them. So well one of my missed opportunities was not spending time in this hall because I actually moved out after first quarter. And it's just really sad because I could have hung out with like my homies more. I still like, you know, keep in touch with like as many people as I can. It's just like something that I don't really regret. It's just like unfortunate that it happened. I don't know, I kind of regret like I didn't get close to everybody in the hall. Kind of uh, stuck to my own a little bit. I wish I would have got like closer with other people. I wish I went to more tea times. <laughs> tea times are fun. I never got to go to one. And yeah, that's Karen what never even the most. came. She honestly, she's she late. didn't even come to a tea time because she told late. me she didn't want to. That is Dude. not true because I was never yeah. invited to tea time. Yeah. There it is. I was never invited. Well, let's put it this way. Um, if I can go back in time and tell uh, my first day freshman self um, what I learned now is uh, you shouldn't have any regrets. You know, uh, you should go join group, like groups, you know, if you want to. Um, I only started becoming this, I guess, active in the UCR community maybe halfway through my first quarter. And, you know, that, that first half was just wasted, you know being scared on new things and um, you know when I started to see things differently and going out more hanging out with different people being uh, outgoing I started making more friends I had more fun I even got better grades because you know I find people to study with well being a second year I just want to know like every year you're gonna make more friends um, last year I was kind of introvert I didn't really talk to anybody this year I think I came out of my shell even though I do regret I could have made more friends than I do have now um, I just think you just need to be sociable, make friends, um, acquaintances, just know people. It'll definitely make your travel through college easier, just knowing people. I mean, you're all here, you're on the same boat, might as well make the best of it. I kind of regret wasting a lot of time, and by time I mean just procrastinating on just about everything, or choosing to do actions that would not benefit me in the long run not working on assignments when I had tons of time to do them. The mentality of every student and every, pretty much everyone is to just wait until the last minute to do them. And I'm just one of those students too. And I kind of wish that I got out of that mentality 
few regrets probably would be not studying as hard, not taking school seriously. It was a shock at how hard it was going to be compared to high school. A lot of life lessons, you're more independent, so um, I learned a lot to be on my own. You know, Before I thought I was independent and now I like, alright, like now you really are independent. And uh, My first year was, uh, it was a learning curve for me. You know? I, I did enjoy it a lot. And, it was a really fun time living in the dorms, just meeting some people around campus, just getting to know everyone. I'm glad I, did, I joined a club, you know, Project Rishi. It's basically a club that aims to um, help rural villages in India. I'm glad I, I joined that because I got to meet some people, you know, some upperclassmen. Um, got to get myself out there and involve myself in something that's a good cause. So I'm glad for that. Um, Yo, honestly, I don't have any regrets except for like, you know, joining a club or two. But overall, you know, I enjoyed my first experience in, in, you know, in college. Because of everything that has transpired over the first few months. Like, <laughs> The next question I have for you is, do you have any last words of wisdom? Um, work hard, play hard, but work hard first. Have fun, enjoy your first year, but make sure to set your priorities straight, become involved in campus activities, and overall just enjoy your first year and you'll be fine. Stay focused in school, don't, you know, don't party too much. I know it's fresh, it's fresh in the year, you know, you're, you're not used to like all the freedom and stuff, so you go do crazy shit. One suggestion, don't get a girlfriend first quarter. Okay, it's too much to worry about. I waited until like sophomore or junior year. But well, I would say kind of opposite of that. Like, yeah, um, you could party and then like go out and stuff, and don't go overboard. You know, still do homework and focus on school. That's your main priority. That's why you're here. Uh, my last words of wisdom is that is a very difficult question. Cut. Seriously? <laughs> Probably the most important thing I would have to say is that. You're only in college for about four or five years, but in these four or five years, it will dictate the rest of your life. So I would make the best use of this so that you steer your life in um, the right position. Definitely listen to your parents. Uh, I've realized now that uh, my parents have guided me through so much, and they have yet to give me very good advice in the near future. Don't have expectations of what college life is going to be like. Build it up yourself. Make what college is. You make it what it is to yourself. Make it personal. Make it, make it fun. Make it to the best of your ability. And I think you'll be happy. Don't follow the Rat Pack. Don't follow everyone else. Try your own path. Find out what you like to do. Find out what your goals are. And pursue them to the highest degree. Make connections because I mean, you can see people you're going to be working with in the next five years. So be cool to everyone. I mean, there's no need to create drama, there's no need to try to be better than anybody else. Don't try hard to be better than anyone else. Try your hardest to be the best version of yourself. I think that it's really important to put yourself out there and make a lot of new friends and just have a lot of fun. I think that a lot of people should support sports even if you don't like the sport. Like you should still go and support to have like a bigger fan base because we really need that like at UCR. Oh, what sports do you two play? Oh, we play women's soccer. Yeah. Don't get books new from the bookstore. Just get them like used on eBay, Amazon, I don't know, somewhere else. Except from the bookstore, because they're too expensive. Stay hungry and humble and dance your heart out, ladies. 420, blaze it, faggot. Don't be a dummy, come on and tell me. Have fun, enjoy every minute you're in the dorms, because you're on your own next year, because I mean, <laughs> I mean, I don't have anyone watching over me next year, I'm in an apartment, but I'm just saying, these are the people you're going to remember the rest of your life, so embrace it, enjoy it, and don't come to school with a negative attitude, like, oh, boy, from home, embrace it, because you have the freedom and to do whatever you want to do for the rest of your life, so first year is awesome, one year down and three more to go. <laughs> don't be lazy. Like, um, it's fine to, like, you know, relax sometimes and take a break, but what I mean by lazy is, like, if you see a rock, see what's underneath it, right? Because, you know, there might be oh, like a hundred different rocks. And I know rocks aren't the most exciting thing, but you just want to look for the rock that you find the most interesting. Because if you don't find anything underneath it, you 
know where to look next time. But if you find something interesting, 9 out of 10 times, you're probably going to find another person who thinks the same rock is interesting. And you found another friend, and you found something cool to look at, and you're happy, and everything's just good. Yeah, look for that rock. Uh, my last question for you is, if you were to be watching this video a year from now, two years, three years, however long, what would you want to say to your future self? I want to say like, hey Alex, I hope you raised your GPA like you wanted to. How, do, how are you liking your job? The Child Development Center is still awesome. Did you end up making the golf team like you wanted to? Did you end up learning how to manage your time better? Or is it still crap? <laughs> You're still a star even when you slip. You're still awesome. Future Amanda. You've done such a great job. You got your head on straight. You have so much confidence and you have such an optimistic view in the world and just keep doing what you want to do in life because right now you may have kids, you may not, you may have the love of, of your life at home waiting for you. But honestly, just looking back at it, I couldn't have picked better decisions and just I want to say, you know, like I hope I'm a lawyer. I hope I'm rich. I hope I'm a lawyer. But if not, I just hope I'm happy, and you know what, right now I'm happy. So future Amanda, you're doing a great job because right now I'm sitting at a university and I'm happy, and I think that's pretty awesome. I would want to say that I hope I did well in the science classes like chemistry and biology, and I just want to make sure that I'm happy with whatever it is I've decided to do in the next two or three years of my life. What would you want to say to your future self? Get rid of the body. Go to Walgreens and buy their condoms because school condoms suck. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, seriously. Overall, I hope that I've, I've stayed true to myself. Um, I do make a lot of bad decisions, but um, I never really regret anything that I do. And I sort of stand behind that. Uh, I hope I'm happy overall. That's it's a, it's a big question for my future self. I don't. I don't really know what fork in the road I'm going to be taking, but I hope that I'm happy with however it ends up. I expect to see a fully colored, fully shaded, fully highlighted, fully outlined drawing from me in the future. That better be well, damn well good to my current standards, and it better be damn well excellent by yours. Are you and Kiso going strong in your relationship, and did you go into event planning or did you pursue to have your own business? And I would want to ask myself if I worked harder than I am now to get good grades and um, if I still want to be an elementary school teacher and make a difference in children's lives. I would hope that my future self continues to be nice and loving, well, well not continues, well, always always aims towards being nice because you know maybe I'm not nice right now but uh, I would hope my future self um, always aims towards being loving uh, to other people just work hard you know have fun treat yourself <laughs> don't stress out too much about school you know you only have one life you know so live it at the fullest yeah don't listen I'm worried about school I mean, yeah, live, life, live life at the fullest, but focus is your main goal, too. What's up, 19-year-old Daniel? Uh, I hope to God you're not expecting or have had another baby. You know, you're good with one for now. Hopefully you have all your loans and, like, your debts paid off. All that bullshit you took out, you know what you did. I know what I did, shit. Yeah, just, just keep on it, man. Hopefully you're doing good in school, you know. Hopefully you're still working, possibly a student manager, I don't know, maybe it's in the future, I don't know, we'll, see, we'll find out. So 19 year old Jose, you better be going to the fucking gym, <laughs> I don't want to see your lazy ass this in fucking bed like you were this year, and I uh, hope you do better in school, keep up the good grades, and uh, hope you have fun in college, keep having fun. I hope that I completed the things that I said to my uh, said in this video. I, you know, I completed those guidelines, and 
you know, it's like in high school when you write that letter to yourself in uh, freshman year and you read it when you graduate high school, you know, you read it and when I read mine, I felt like I, I was a different person. I changed so much, you know, and it was good. But, you know, saying this stuff now, I hope that I complete everything that I said I wanted to do and follow everything I, I say in this video because I think I'm going to have a better four years experience if I do. Yo, what's up, Big T? Um, how you doing? Uh, just understand, like, everything's gonna work out. You know, you're gonna have a great time, and you're gonna go places as long as you work really hard. Hi, future Karen. I hope you're still dancing. I hope you're still getting that 4.0, and just remember, work hard, play hard, dance hard. Hey, what's up, future Trevor? Um, make sure you strive. I know, like, we want to become beta someday, so. Let's let's get it done, man. And remember, don't don't lose focus. Don't party too hard, dude. I would ask myself, did you lose the weight yet? Did you go to the gym? Did you eat healthy? Did you get your grades up? Did you quit your job at KFC? Just because I think there's there's much more to me that I haven't really explored yet. So I just need to find that motivation. And in a year from now, I want to see myself in at a whole nother level. Yeah, I'll tell myself. Um, to just stay the same as long as I'm the same person I am a year, year from now, um, I think everything would be great. Hey Lucy, I hope you're doing well. I hope you improved your academic status. I hope that you have a job by now, maybe. That you still keep in touch with your close friends and that you don't let go of the bond you have made with your friends. And I hope that you're still pretty close with your family and that you're there to support them. Hi, future Mary. Uh, I hope by now that you would have found who you really are and what you really want and that you are genuinely happy. I'd say continue to pursue your dreams, continue to try and be the best version of yourself, mentally, physically, artistically, morally, and emotionally. Strive for better for yourself and uh, make your parents proud. Be a good person, a kind person to everyone and to help other people as well in their endeavors and do your thing man, stay gold. What I'd want to say to my future self is grow into the man that you know you can be. Um, be a great son, be a great friend, be a great boyfriend, get A's in class and uh, do work in the fraternity and be like the best rush chair that they've ever seen. A year from now what I'd like to see for myself is score that internship next summer with CBS Kill it in school, get all A's, because you know you want to go to Stanford for your MBA. Be heavily involved with your family, because you know that's, that's what matters the most. And just be involved in school and network with everybody and absorb the college experience. Signing off. Salud. Future self, huh? Well, um, future self, don't be disappointed when you fail, because through failure, you eventually succeed. Be more friendly, you know, be more open to things. Join more clubs, <laughs> just grow individually and with others. Choose your friends wisely. <laughs> Future self, be loving, be caring. Hey man, how's it going? Um, I hope everything's going well. Hope classes are not too tough on you. Hope you're you know, not stressing out too much. I wanna ask you something. Have you been going to the gym? If you haven't, I'm gonna get on your ass, so you better do that. Would there be anything you want to say to your future self? I got something to say. Do it for her. Public service announcement, that's what we were told. SDP? No! <laughs> yeah, just play anything you want.
<laughs> I was quite nervous. Um, <laughs> dude, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm sorry, dude. I'm kidding. Why are we? Okay, well, with the school year coming to an end, are you happy with the decisions that you've made? Yeah. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what is this again? It's a it's a toe thumb. A toe thumb, yes. Well, if you guys want to see something crazy, oh, this one. No, you should you should watch Trevor. He has a dance. Watch. Come on. Come on, do it. 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 Yo, that'd be awesome. Go 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 go. I don't know the dance. I know you know it. I know. We should see you do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We're so excited. Tim, what are you wearing? On this? It's a, it's a girl eating a banana. For the record, I don't really wear this shirt very often. I had sex with you, Tanya. <laughs> so we done you? Yeah, that's it. Alright, cool. See you later. Jeffrey, is it over? <laughs> yeah, that's basically it. This is Hall E1! One.